So what I'm showing you guys how to do today is how to make a really nice looking t-shirt mock-up in Photoshop. Hey guys, welcome out to another video. Corey here with Golden Press Studio. And today I have a crispy, a savory, a quick and simple little tutorial for you today. So I've been over here at Golden Press Studio for a while. I do all the design stuff and one of the things I do almost every day is make mock-ups for clients to show them what their shirts are gonna be looking like after we print them. I have seen lots of different mock-ups in my day. I've seen lots of uh, templates on Photoshop that you can download and make mock-ups for, but I kind of put together my method of how I do it, and I think it's a great way. It's a simple way. I think you guys can do it too. I've seen a lot of good mock-ups, and I've also seen a lot of bad mock-ups. Sometimes we have clients that maybe send us some artwork that maybe an old screen printer sent to them or something like that. And there's times where I'm like, whoa, I can't even see the artwork and, and why, why would they just mock it up like that? It just, it seems very weird. And it probably took the same amount of time that it takes me to do my mock-ups. So really what this is about is just giving you guys a super simple way to make a really nice looking mock-up of the t-shirt that you're printing or designing or whatever that just looks really nice. So when I do these mock-ups for people, I like to give our clients exactly the shirt style, the shirt color that the design is going on. So what I'm gonna do is hop into uh, my good old Safari browser, my Google, and we're gonna go to our wholesale site, SS Activewear, um, Dynamite Place. They got all kinds of wholesale items. And let's just say that the client is gonna want to print this on a Bella Canvas shirt. So we're gonna go over to Bella Canvas and we're gonna choose the Bella Canvas CVC uh, 3001 style shirt. Let's say maybe they want it on this like black Heather shirt. That's kind of a good looking shirt. And so what I'm gonna do, uh, I'm gonna cl click on the black Heather and then I just enlarge it and then Command Shift 3 and take a little screenshot of that shirt. I'm gonna click on the back of the shirt, enlarge it, Command Shift 3, take another little screenshot. And now I have some nice little screenshots of the exact shirt that these are going on. I'm just gonna double click it and it's gonna open it up in like the photo previewer. And I am just going to draw a little box around it just by clicking and dragging and making sure there you go. And Command K, that crops, crops it down. I just do it this way. You can crop it in Photoshop if you want. So then I'm gonna go and open up Photoshop, create a new document. 13 by 19 is just the size that I always use. You can kind of use whatever size you want it. Uh, high resolution is good, so 300 uh, DPI or whatever. And we got a Photoshop document. I'm gonna go over, grab these shirts, and drag them and drop them in that Photoshop document. And then we're just gonna go and position the shirt, just kinda however, I, I like to do them like this. Uh, you know, this is gonna be a front and back design, so I want the front and back. And that seems like a good position. Then uh, what I will do is rasterize these these layers right now, they're smart objects. So you can just do that by going over to the layer and doing kind of a two finger click, scroll down and rasterize that layer. Same thing on the next one, rasterize that layer. And we'll start with, with that one. And you see, there's a couple ways you can do this. You can either hit the wand tool with the W, the magic wand and you can select it that way, which works pretty good. Um, or you can, uh, you can go up to select and you can just hit subject and it will also do a really good job at just selecting exactly where the shirt is. Um, and maybe you could hit command J and that'll copy it upward. And now we've gotten rid of the background around that shirt. And that actually looks really good. So I delete that bottom one. Do the same thing to the top one. Maybe I'll do it with the wand this time. And just delete. And uh, so now if that looks nice, you know, it just, we got the shirt overlapping each other. They just look good. 
Now we need a design. So we're gonna swing on over to Adobe Illustrator. And this is the design I'm gonna use on this shirt. So I'm gonna command C, I'm gonna copy it, and we're gonna swipe on over to Photoshop and command V and paste this, this picture on the image. And we're just gonna move it up a layer by holding command and hitting, uh, what, right bracket. You could also just grab it and pull it up and down that way as well. And command T, that is your transform tool. And we're gonna size this up on the back of this shirt. And right now, this design is a black design, but I mean, it kind of looks cool black on black, but we want to have, have it that the ink is white. So I'm going to go over here and double click on that layer of the design, and I'm going to go down to color overlay. And right here, we can just go down all kinds of different colors that we could want it to be. It could be, you know, bright orangey red, you could do a teal, but I want it to be white. So I'm just gonna hit okay, hit okay, and now, boom, we have a nice looking design on the back of the shirt. Uh, we need a front design for this shirt, so I'm gonna hop on over back to Illustrator. I'm gonna grab the logo for this brand, Command C. Uh, jump back into Photoshop, paste it, and we're gonna size it up for like the pocket and position it on the shirt shrink it down a little bit. And we're gonna do the same thing to that last one. We're gonna double click on that layer, do a color overlay, do white. And now we have it on the shirt, looking nice, but I like to do one extra little feature to this. And I'm gonna go down uh, to the main part of the design and I'm gonna duplicate that by hitting Command J, kind of copies that whole layer onto the next one. I'm gonna turn off the effect I'm gonna hit Command T to transform it. I'm gonna make it really big in the background and, and just lay it over top and uh, Command and then the left bracket and I'm gonna bring it down behind the shirt and then I'm gonna drop the opacity right here of it. And now we have what I think is a really nice looking mock-up that's gonna be able to show the client what their design is gonna look like on exactly the shirt style that they want. You know, this is this Heather Black 3001 CVC shirt, and we're able to show them, yeah, this is where it's gonna be placed on the pocket, that looks good, the back looks really nice, it's a high resolution image, and this is something that they could put on their website, this is something that they could put as a promotional thing on their Instagram, and I just like to provide clients with a really nice looking mock-up that takes no time to do, that just looks really nice. I'm gonna show you guys one more super spicy quick little tip as well, just to uh, give you a little bit more variety with this. And maybe they want this on a t-shirt, maybe they want it on a hoodie, and so I just wanna show you what it would look like on a hoodie. Real quick, all the same steps. Let's do it real quick. So that, that looks fine, but you notice that some of the design is covered up by the hood. And so what I like to do for things like this is we can hit Command J to just duplicate that so we don't lose our final artwork. And I'm gonna rasterize this layer as well. Um, or rasterize this layer style as well. There we go, so now it's just a rasterized image. And I'm gonna drop the opacity real quick, punch the opacity down so I can see through to the design. And I'm gonna grab my eraser tool. And it's just, a, I just got a small little eraser with medium hardness, pretty small size, like 23 pixels. And I'm just gonna go in and follow this line and just erase where this hood is kind of covering up the design, just to make it look authentic and real. 
Okay, that looks good. Bring the opacity back up. And now it looks like the design is actually on the hoodie. Just erased out where the hood is. I think that looks sick. It looks really nice. It shows them what the design would look like on the back of the hoodie, on the front of the hoodie. And in no time, you just made two really good looking mock-ups for a client. You know, we got these previews right here, you can see. So there you guys have it. That is how I like to do mock-ups for clients to show them what their t-shirts or sweatshirts or whatever are gonna look like. I like to do it this way just mainly because I wanna show them exactly what the shirt will look like on exactly the style of clothing that they are ordering. I hope you liked it. Hope you learned something. Hope uh, you'll be impressing your clients with some savory and saucy mock-ups. And we will see you there in the next video, doggies. All right, everyone ready? All motorcycles done driving down the road? So, without any more of this jibber-jabber, let's jibber-jabber into this. Arf on you later. Orf? <laughs>